What up, gentlemen and ladies, man? Once again, it's your boy, Lose, and I'm in this thing, this big thing, with another review, man. Back on Art of Seduction, chapter 20, Bank Day, and we're talking about pleasure and pain, man. You gotta have a little bit of both, especially if you wanna capture the attention, the full, unadulterated, uninhibited, unprohibited attention of your lover. When you come through, you cannot be Mr. Nice Guy. Mr. Hey guys, how you doing? Ma'am, you look nice today. No, don't do that shit. Mix what you give people. You need to be the velvet gloved iron fist. You need to be the drawn silk curtain that when it opens up, the ogre comes out from behind it. You need to be a two in one because there's no more boredom than the boredom that is felt with Mr. Nice Guy. He's a soft guy. You become predictable within weeks and months of knowing somebody. And then you're definitely not telling the truth at all times. Nice and truth, they don't go together. They don't. Truth, harsh. You hear harsh truth, unwanted truth. So you must mix pleasure in with a little bit of bite, with some pain, with some kick to it. That is sexy. That is seductive. That will capture and play the heartstrings. The example associated with that comes from a selection called Woman and Puppet by Pierre Luis. And this is actually taken out of Casanova's memoirs. This is autobiographical. This is something that happened within his life, but it was adapted to a story by Pierre Luis. A really good story, by the way. So our hero, or should I say simp, his name is Don Mateo Diaz, older gentleman of 38. He had some, some friends in nice places, man. And he liked to walk through the factories to look to see if there were some things he wanted to purchase. It was a hot summer day. This is about 1890s. But today, he kind of had a different agenda. It was hot outside, hot as hell, and a lot of these women were scantily clad. So this man, let me just take a walk over here to the factory. This dude get on my nerves in this story. I ain't gonna lie. He sees a young girl. Her name is Conchita. She's 16 at the time. Now, this is 19th century. Relax before you trip out. This is how they used to get out. Like I said, you go a couple hundred years back and you looking with the binoculars, like what the hell are y'all getting into? But that's how they used to get out. Conchita's like, caballero, dame un centavo y te voy a cantar. Give me one penny and I'll sing a song for you. you look at her, she looked kind of good. She got that glint of adventure in her eye. Virtuous young woman. She looking good. Go ahead, baby girl. She sing him a song, Sugar Daddy Vibe. He hit one of these, toss her a coin that'll pay the month salaries. It's like a month salary. What's up with him? That's basically like in these days, the girls say that I'm gonna sing a song for you and he give $5,000 or something. Like, yo, come on, man. Straight Sugar Daddy Vibes. That's how he's getting now. He had, you know, he had it like that. Don Mateo. So he give her that. He he walk off on it smooth. He think he's smooth guy vibe. He don't, he don't want to do too much in the beginning. Understandable. He walks off, he feel a tug at his sleeve. He look back, Conchita, right there with him. He like, yo, it's, it's too hot to work. Can you walk me home? He horny. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Of course, he already sees she cute, and that's exactly what he wanted. He, you know, he like, well, yeah, take your ass home. They get to walking, they get close to the hood. He looking back and forth, they like, yo, you live over here, shorty? He drop her to the crib, he speak to the mom. Hey, what's up, moms, how you doing, X, Y, Z? He dropped some money to the moms. I'm like, oh my God, isn't he? Simp Express, and he dips off. So the next day, he hits up Conchita. He's like, yo, let me come through. So he comes through. The mom's not there. They end up kind of getting into it. You know, she's on his lap, and he go in for the kiss. She like, get the hell off me. What's wrong with you? What are you thinking? What do you think this is? You better not ever do that again. Conchita say, the young girl. He's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He want to continue on and everything. 
So the next couple weeks, he's coming to the crib religiously, but he ain't trying her. Like he's not trying to kiss nothing. He just coming to the crib, whatever you did, I'm right here for you. So listen to these instances. She done hopped on his lap. He go in for the kiss and it's, don't you ever do that again. Mixing the pleasure with the pain. You see what I'm saying? So of course you gotta, you gotta watch these women because they are consummate seducers. The best, the most elite, the number one seducer. So Conchita got this dude exactly where she wanted. Over the next few weeks, he's coming through back and forth. She playing the game with him, but he's, he feeling, he head over here, sugar daddy vibe, 40 year old, young girl. He's like, I can't get this up again. So he, you know, he does, he does his thing. He offers to the mother and Conchita. He's like, Hey, listen, man, let me take you away. Let me take you as my wife and you will be taken care of. And by extension, he looks to the mom. He says, you'll be taken care of as well. He steps off with this proposition. Let me let her think about it. You know, she, she gonna come through, you know, you, yeah, you know, she gonna come through. He talking to his man, yeah, I got this little young thing, Conchita, and she gonna come through. He gets a letter in the mail, and the letter's like, you think I'm, I'm to be bought? You think I'm a whore? You could just buy me with your money? To hell with you. You'll never see me again. He like, what? Oh, denied. Oh, rejected. He come, he go back to the crib. He rush over to the crib the next day. They done moved out. The mom and the daughter done moved out, moved away. He like, oh my God. Mixing the pleasure with the pain. They are serious. They go, it's like, like we said, it was the summertime when they met. They go the whole winter. And then next thing you know, Don Mateo walking down the street. And down. <laughs> that boy's hurt. He was hurt. Don Mateo sees Conchita. 